In hard times, it's always good to have a lesson in saving. And this is a great story. 19-year-old Lindsay Binniger loves to show her prize-winning hogs at local fairs. Over the years, she saved $40,000 in prize money and bought a house in her hometown of Greenfield, Ohio, where she joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm really well. I'm really well. You look great in front of that house. Let me... For Thank the you. folks in America who, who don't understand what it means to show a hog, tell us what that is. What? How, how do you do that? Well, you get the hog in um, early May, and you have it for six months. Um, if they're lucky enough to be my hogs, they get baths and walks and clean pens and fresh feed every night. Mm -hmm. um, you show them at the Highland County Fair or um, State Fair or National Fair, mm -hmm. and you you show them to the judge and see what the judge thinks. And if you're lucky enough to be that one, then you're lucky enough to get some money. <laughs> wow. Now, what kind of breed do you usually yeah. show? Um, I show crossbreds. Uh huh. Uh huh. So mm -hmm. you you've always been very good at this, and along the line have accumulated prize winning. Now I would imagine, though, as a kid, wouldn't you want to spend some of that money? Have you ever spent any of it? Yeah, actually, um, I spent my I won open show one year, and that's just a smaller show from the county fairs. Mm -hmm. I won three hundred dollars, and I kind of splurged on a purse and a little bit of a shopping spree, and that's the only money I've ever spent until now. So over all these years showing hogs at all these fairs, you saved how much money? Forty thousand. Forty thousand dollars. <laughs> so now, what do you now? Is your are your parents pretty thrifty? Yes, yeah, my dad especially. He's vi very financially um, stable, I would say. He's very good <laughs> with his money. <laughs> and what made you decide then at 19, at a ripe age of 19 years old, that you were going to go ahead and buy a house? Well, um, the opportunity came, came up, and my dad said that it would be a good investment and it would make me money in the long run, and I was all for it. Yeah, because right now housing prices, I imagine, are about as low as they're, they're going to go. And if you're 19 years old yeah. and hang on to that even for another 19 years, you'll probably make a dollar or two. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping the economy goes up, makes me some money. <laughs> there you go. Now, so now, are you living in this house? Um, no, I rent it out to my great aunt and uncle. Um, I'm still living at home and attending college. <laughs> okay, so you take cash. Buy the house for cash, uh -huh. rent the money uh -huh. the thing out, so it's not o only accumulating value, value, presumably, but you're getting uh, rental income at the same time. Right, right, yeah. Holy cow, holy cow. I'll tell you what, <laughs> uh, you know, there's a job at the Federal Reserve that might be available that <laughs> the president may want to well, get I wanna, you. I want to be a teacher, so. <laughs> ah, well, that, you know, that would be a good use of your talents as well. We sure do appreciate <laughs> you uh, coming on the show this morning and telling us uh, your story. And congratulations. Well, thanks for having me. All right, good Thank deal. you. Lindsay Benninger. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.